that's a little too loud. Now let's tell JJ. Welcome to the JRL. Uh, Forza Motorsports 7 Wii. I am your one and only commentator once again, <laughs> Assassin. And we are here for a really good one here today, boys. As this is Sonoma Raceway, the short circuit, a 1.99 mile track that is really, which is a really elevated track. And it's it's a really big, powerful, you, you got twists and turns, ups and downs, lefts and rights. And this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a big challenge for the drivers to see who can become the fast, who can be fast, and not only that, who has the fuel mileage for this race. As right now, I don't know what the what the race setup will look like, but <laughs> because I I'm just winging it at this point. Uh. All right, so. Right, so we're gonna get a get a moment to wait on this as the uh, what's it called as the as uh, JJ gets set up or gets the race set up and everything. So I honestly don't know what's what to expect really, but this is gonna be a, a really good race in my opinion. And I hope it, it'll uh, it'll be a fun one for a lot of these drivers. So we have Shadow, Shadow Subs, uh, Subset. Oh, that's weird. That's actually a weird name. There's a Shadow Subset. He, oh, Scott. Man. <laughs> Shadow, he will be driving the 55 Pittsburgh Pro Car. Uh, Sniper, he's joining with uh, his teammate. It, the lead, or the team owner, uh, top shelf rim. Wow, that is one colorful car right there. Sniper, he will be in the 13 car, the Texo 13, or yeah, the Texaco 13 car. Looking pretty, uh, pretty spiffy, I guess. And then the no sponsors of the 78. Okay, I lied. The and. <laughs> The NZXT 78 car of Crazy Ghost will be. Uh, he'll be. Uh, he'll be driving the, the 78. Power Ultra. He's driving out, or he's he's gonna be driving the 41 Air or. Crap. Yeah, the Air Canada 41 car. Let's see if he'll, he'll be a contender or in contention for a win. As JJ Reds is his final race at Sonoma, can he get a win at this track? As he'll be driving the Reds XI Esports Camry. 43 a beater but the tide 43 that is one one colorful ride to say the least
as it looks to be a, a driver running late. Halo driving the cold red Mountain Dew car, and we've never we have I don't even think I've seen an actual car that's from the that actually sponsored the cold red of Mountain Dew, but. Pretty awesome scheme for him. We have Jada on on here. We uh, with the 22 of the the number 22 Soul Pennzoil Mustang, or not really a Mustang in this game, but uh, Ford Fusion. Let's see if he will get somewhere. 95. Ex uh, the number 95 Exalta Chevrolet Chevy SS Wolf Hound and we will we'll be uh as the track is now loaded in oh okay so it's the full circuit all right oh okay never mind I was about to say. <laughs> that would have been weird, to say the least. And right, now I think we're ready. So all these, <laughs> the three other drivers, we have the number 11, a Philly kill, and the Hooters Toyota Camry. Shout out Grim. In the number 60 BTW in the Rogue Energy car mix up, I think. I'm not for sure. <laughs> but then we have the number 8 of SSR. I am not going to say the rest. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we have. We have, as the track setup is now ready. Because I can finally do that. This is a 1.99 mile track. It's a, it has a lot of elevation left, right, up, down. And it's probably going to have a couple of spins here. And then people are probably going to absolutely kill their splitters in a couple of the turns. So we might not, we might see it, we might not. But going into one. I don't have to let off here and then get a heavy break and going up to turn two, turn three. It's kind of a hard, uh, kind of, kind of a hard right hander, not really. And then a uh, kind of weird elevated uphill of turn four. Then we go to turn five, A, I believe. And that's hard downhill on the brakes. So that's probably gonna be a little tricky for some of these drivers to get slow down. Then we have turn six or five, five B I think. And then that's a really a hard left or right hander to get on into the S's. And then turn 10, really difficult, really tricky. And then turn 11 is the final hair, the hairpin, the last turn. And then we'll be back around the start finish line. It is, it, I don't, it's not really a 55 lap dash. I think it's 45 lap or, or some, not for sure. I hope so. If I'm correct on those terms.
I'm hope I'm a, I hope it is. Okay. So I was close enough. It was 44 lap. <laughs> it's 44 lap event. Damn, I was close. <laughs> uh, it's a 44 lap event here around this tricky, basically a two mile track. And uh, yeah, we'll, we're gonna get started. As now I have to turn my fan off because I'm cold. As the drivers will get set up and ready to roll here and go do their pace laps. Is it will be sniper hyper will be on cold, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then Halo in ro er, on the outside. Alright, I turned my fan off. Meter will go to the back, I'm guessing for post race or er, pre race inspection failure. About three or four times. I'm joking. One or two, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, here we go. So, everybody is going to be. Now let's spread it out and whatnot. Let me, uh. I'm gonna turn the map off, but right here, this, this turn is especially tricky. If you get a real wide, you might hit the tire barriers there. So, the drivers, they're gonna have to watch out for that. Not into 5B, that's gonna be a real tricky one, to say the least. Because we're trying to go for a pass. With six. That'll be seven. That's the tricky turn right there. Eight, nine, somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> this is turn ten. As we're going down to the final hairpin, the one and only all in already. They're crashing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Already a mess of way to go? Yes, I forgot to do the uh, thing. Oh, they're starting to line up, but it don't matter. Green flag is out in the air. We're racing at Sonoma. And all trouble, and, and there's a uh, one car around. It looks to be the eight, I believe, a beater, or not beater. Uh, it was an eight car. It was a uh, Power Ultra. That's what around the 78 is already off track. And already, well, let's see where uh, it was. A, it was an eight car, if not. It was the. I don't know, I'm not for sure, but... Oh, dude, it was the Greener Construction thing before, but, you know. But yeah, yeah, I like my sticker on there. <laughs> oh my god, that was really close for Grimmer right there. Because he almost got into, into the wall right there. And yeah, that car, it looks to be real, real loose. And the 54 JJ got really wide there. And now he's gonna dive bomb him. Trying to dive on him into the turn. And it'll it might not work out. Maybe it will. And it will. And 
Oh, already Topso getting really loose once again. Not the way he wants to start out. Hit the tire barrier in the hairpin in the last the last turn was not really the best for him. And it looks maybe a caution. Okay, yeah, I think there was a caution. Because everybody has slowed up. I don't even know what the caution was for. But it might have been because of the, somebody's spinning or something. I'm, I'm not for sure, but already one lap in and somebody is already, and there's already caution. If I was Halo right now, I will I would need to attack. Cause I think they're I think they're already lining up once again. Because of what that happened. On the pace lap I think. If I was Halo right here, I would have to attack immediately. Because it's really hard to get back to uh, double file unless you're faster than him. So you will have to have a really great restart to be side by side with the uh, with the 13. Here we go. We're about to go green and once again. As we're going towards the restart zone, and green flag is back out in the air. And that's not what... Oh, and there... Oh, there goes the 13 and the 16. Oh, man, what even happened there? I don't know if Sniper got dumped by the 16 or... Or if uh, he came up a little bit, but that's his arm. Dive bombs at 11, and he makes it stick. And there's a new leader, and it's the eight. Eleven trying to chase him back down, and Power Ultra, he is not that far behind. And a, wow, that was a really loose part right there. Billy went a little bit wide. Man, as right now, as you can see, uh, this is where the lap is, and somebody is already, and that looks to be the 78. He was caught somewhere. And oh, it looks to me somebody has uh, either spun. And yeah, the caution I think is out once again. So not really a, even a full lap of racing. In the first. Four laps, there's already been a caution. Card, try and catch back up to the pack and we're gonna go into the game cameras and look at uh, the sixth place car of top so grim as he he's already had a wild first four laps really and a pace lap as here goes and wow two cars fake into pit road and wow out if I was, oh wow. 
I was thinking that would it would be a great strategy to bit now. I believe it would have been a great strategy to pick now. If I was already in the back. Like if I was Halo, I would have like Halo uh, like seventh on back, maybe sixth on back. Why not pick? I mean, the track position is so heavy. It's so much. You need track position. Because it is really hard to pass in this track. Because the choose cone rule has been in play now. Because everybody will get set up, set back up. Towards the restart zone. Or the checker zone. Whatever you want to call it. Once again, we go down to the the last turn, the final hair, er, the hairpin. I keep saying the final hairpin that this, this is the one and only one. Nobody has killed the tire barriers, at least. As now we're gonna go back green flag racing once again, and we're back into green, <laughs> back into action now. And that was a great start. For the eight, and that was a good that was a good restart for the eleven, but just could not capitalize. That was, that was a great that was a great part on uh, the eight's part as the eleven is now back into third er, is now back up into third. Forty one of Power Ultra, he is now just trying to catch back into. The eight as the eight looks to me, he smoked the tires trying to get it back onto the power. Cause now we go down to the S's. That is a one sick camera angle right there. I will not lie. As the 41 is now trying to be on the bumper of the eight car. He's now. Let's see if he will try and get under him. Can't do it quite yet. He has to get a little bit closer. Man, that A car is fast, but the 41, I think, is faster. It's a little bit. As the A goes a little bit wide. The same with the 41 now. And the 41 just lost that round right there. Yeah, there, here goes the wide arc into it, try to get the run off. And that kind of killed his run right there. Let's see if he can get into turn 10 a little or better than. And oh, yeah, he didn't have the exit right there. But you try and dive it in. And it won't work. Man, that was really close. Where's the tire barrier? See what the map looks like as everybody is spread out now. 
We're gonna go look at the battle for third as JJ is now trying to catch up Philly. I feel like Philly is fast here, but not faster than in the 41 and the 8 because they have pulled away from them a lot. Now let's see about the Drew Cam and JJ. Got a better. He was, he was hugging the, the, uh, the rubber strip right there. Billy wasn't really doing that and it kind of got him a little mess, messed up there. But, uh, let's, uh, let's go back, back, uh, way it ways. And I mean back to 10. Not the left, yeah. I, I, I thought it would be a lot better, but that is not the better. We go back to fourth. There's the battle for third. Four car, and we'll see what the the eleven looks like. As he goes a little wide there, and yeah, he's he is he could not put the power down. Yeah, put the power down. I mean, he's... He didn't put the... Oh, yeah, that, that right there kind of killed his momentum. As JJ, he is right there behind him. Let's see. Yeah, he is right on him. If he, if he gets a great turn 10... And no, you cannot get a better turn 10 or he couldn't stick right towards him. But he's right on the bumper of him. Yeah, it just won't be enough. Oh, wow, JJ trying to just go all the way in, drive it in deep. And he cannot. Driving in deep as, oh, he gets into the grass just a tiny bit. And, oh, yeah, he's way better in here than, than he is down in the... And more like in the, sec in the first sector, he's way better in there. Second sector, I believe that uh, Philly is just a tad bit better. Not by a lot, though. Right here, this is where JJ catches him the most. And this kind of kills Philly right here. And that that kind of killed uh, JJ's hopes on trying to do it, drive it in deep. And he tried it a little bit more and he's into the back bumper of Philly. And man, that was... That was gonna be bad right there. We'll now look at not power. <laughs> we'll now look at JJ's perspective. As he is slamming on the bumper of Philly to move it. To tell him to move out of the way. I'm saying I'm looking at Philly. He's, he's just trying to pull away. 
That's all he really wants. Once again, he tries it in deep. And man. Once again, he gets loose here, but he, he usually gains right here so much for that. Right now, his SSR is. Whoa, what happened to him? Right now he's trying to dive bomb and the 54 looked like he was going to use it looked like he locked up and then got back into it. So I don't know if he if, uh, what happened what happened on that part. So we're, we're gonna see the, the lab data on the leaders. This is a four second gap between between uh, first and second and oh! The eight goes a little wide and he somehow gets it done. Oh, the 11, he's there, and wow, that was about to get really ugly really quickly. And I don't think this is going to be a good part right here. And yeah, Philly backs out, and all oh, the 8 saves it somehow. And oh, no, he doesn't. As he goes into the, he goes into the, uh, oh, that sucks for him. Try to go for it, and it didn't stick towards his liking. And now he will have to go into the pits, just a pit. That sucks for him. As now we'll look back into third place. And wow, <laughs> what I tell you about the splitter being disordered. And I told you about it, and oh, almost, it was a little bit of a lockup right there. And oh, the 22 gets into the, into, they're in the way of the 54. And he turns him. Oh, wow. And what a great save by the 54. That was really stupid on the 22 part. That sucks. I don't know if JJ will ever retaliate. It looked like he was trying to right there. Yeah, I, that was really stupid on the... On the 22's part right here, let's see if he'll, he'll do that to JJ or Halo, and he basically does. He just closes the door and lets him fly. So, I don't know what's 22, what the 22 is all about, but man, that's just kind of stupid on the 22's part. We'll go back into second now and let's see how Philly's doing. And he's basically has been doing good. And, and as we'll we'll go and see the 41 once again somehow or somehow dominating this race. As two weeks ago he was he was fast, but just couldn't get the handle of it. As we'll... <laughs> As we're gonna go towards, uh... Let's see what the... The race sets will look like. Is the race sets are... Leader, 
His power ultra, he is 6.5, 6.6, 6.7 seconds. Now about to be seven seconds. Uh, up towards uh, Philly, and and the uh, the best lap was from SSR. And oh wow, power just got way off really. the part right there. But yeah, SSR he gets he has the fastest lap so far with the 113.3, and the top speed is Shadow Subset with the 171. All about the grid changes as now. It looks to be uh, <laughs> power getting four spots off the off of the initial start, and then Billy with five. Same with JJ. Halo down to two. Shadow down to two. Uh, whoever that was in six, I couldn't see. We'll have to see that again. Because SSR, he's now equal once again. Top shelf down three, and I didn't see it again. But yeah, the. Yeah, uh, let's look at it. And, yeah. It's now Sniper, he is down seven positions. That's a drop of the green. Peter up three, Wolfhound up one, somebody down one. I couldn't read fast, I'm sorry. Data down one and Ghost and Crazy, Ghost is down two. That's what everyone is. Let's look at the lap times so far. And we'll get back into uh, let's see. our ultra has a 115 Philly has a 114 and I couldn't see the rest because everybody because it goes like uh, this with a 116 able with a 114 SSR with a 113 now wow that was really loose by the 54 and, and the 54 was out of shape and we're gonna see what the, what the first place person is doing as the caution has come out as for some reason I have not seen why This is why I need my uh, my map. <laughs> Looks to me uh, the twelve, maybe or the seventy-eight. My bad. Still not for sure, but. And now we'll be going into a commercial break, I guess, because we gotta get uh, everybody back up and situated. So it might take an, a, a minute or two. This Billy is now stopped on the track for some reason. 
All right, and now he gets back rolling. That that kind of sucks for him. Oh, that doesn't actually suck. Well, never mind, I guess. I guess, uh, didn't pull a Marcos Ambrose. Yep, there it goes. Everybody is pitting be so Okay, no. Yeah, nah, never mind. Forget what I just said. Everybody is pitting, basically. As we'll now go on and see. Okay, that was weird. There's the, the 11 of Philly kill. He's, I guess he's saying that his tires are worn out and completely nonchalant with it. And he'll be out in the way because these pit stops are 20 seconds faster than a regular thing, I guess. It is Power Ultra was in first, Philly Kill second, JJ in third, Halo fourth, Sniper in fifth. Saddle in 6, SSR in 7, Top Self 8, Mant J to 10th, and Crazy, with Crazy Ghost 11th, uh, and Wells. So that is basically everybody. This is what the desk would look like as now. This is uh, the tooth con rule. Everybody has done that. As, uh, this is what the telemetry looks like. It's different than you'd expect, really. But when you click the telemetry, yeah. But let's see what happens here. This is not going to be the last time we'll be on the hairpin. Be going through the hairpin under Carson. We're going back green. As now we will be going back green flag racing. As the green flag is back underway here. Here at Sonoma. And it looks like... Looks like uh, 11 didn't have the great start as he needed, and he is now side by side with with uh, JJ. Now it's, it is literally a three-handed race. And now every and now everybody is. They were sideways going 
Has my mic died, sadly? If my controller died, sadly, I don't know how. It's down to the S's, that camera shot is absolutely old. But down to the S's is, everybody is now spread it out. But man, what a great save by, by the uh, 60. And the 16, and that's not what I meant to do. The 16, he went really wide and same for the, the 41. And now the 11, he's now into the lead as the 41 somehow stumbles into the turn 11 and got passed by Philly. And there, that's where you can see is now that was a really wild concept of how did that happen? I, I don't know. But I, I think the 41 might get back in or get back there is the 11 really wide out of there. Man, they are barely clearing that right there. Down, down towards the S's, they're gonna go. So here you go. It's on the inside, or the outside, and wow, that was a really close way of uh, power getting underneath Philly. Right there is down into the breaking zone. Philly moves him up the track once again. And wow, there is side by side. Going towards the finish line and here, and man, Philly leads that lap. And what if that was the end of the race? That would have been quite a show right there. So here we go now. As there is probably I'm not, I'm not good at math, I mean, I am, but not really, is, wow, that was a little loose there. Man, Halo got really loose off of that corner. As you can see now, 41, 11, and 54 is now driven away from the 16 and the rest of the pack. There's literally three cars in a blanket. And once again, Philly goes really wide and might have gotten second away. And he might, he maybe can clear him. And yes, he does. We're gonna go back to fifth and let's see where he's doing and he's literally doing nothing because I thought there was gonna be somebody battling with him. Uh, let's see. I need my map. Okay. So I guess it's just three cars under a blanket. Because <laughs> man, the, this battle has been really, really strong, really good. That is one heck of a camera angle right there. I wish in real life NASCAR could do that, but I don't think they're, yeah. Cause we're gonna go right along with the 41 on here. It's the 11 now, he's, he, goes, he tries to get under the 41 or the 54. Trying to take second away, and he cannot do that. But man, that was close. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
right there, there is your splitter death once again. There's another splitter that has been killed. No, oh, wow, it gets wide. We're gonna go right along and I'm gonna tell you what what is happening in the car. Because now here it goes and wow, okay, so first things first, he's getting ready into the late braking and try to get a really straight exit out of this and just to go into turn three and try to get a good straight shot out of four uphill and then straight immediately downhill. And now on the brakes hard. Try to use that curb as much as possible and get a straight shot out. Now I get a wide turn and trying to get a straight shot once again. It's all about the straight shot here. And try not to use that curb as much. Use as much curb as you want exactly in the, into the S's. It'll really help a lot. But don't get too much curb because it'll, it, might, it might get you. Right here, it is the most trickiest turn for a lot of uh, a lot of drivers. Now downshift hard on the brakes towards the paper or the hairpin of turn 11, and then back on the throttle, full throttle, going on to the start finish line. There's an, another three cars under the blanket, and what happened to JJ? And I think he got past, or got he halfway spun out. As there is three cars under a blanket right there, and man, that was really close for the eight at 16. Another late break for the eight car. Once again, he, he actually got him. Wow, that is... Wow, I am I'm really surprised right here. And there's a late break for the eight. And wow, what that was. Really, really sideways for the 16. And now they're door to door in the bacon, and that. Oh wow, that. I gotta cut off and Oh, what happened to the eight? And I, man. And what happened to the? What happened to the Philly? He, I didn't, I don't think I, I don't think uh, I caught it on stream, but we might have to look back at it and see what happened in the 43 got really good there. Because there is now four cars under a blanket. From second on back to fourth. Okay, so that's more like a lot. That's more like three cars under a blanket and the 16 gets really good. Loose. I think he got used up by the eight. So the eight, I'm pretty sure he's in the 16 is into the wall. But man, I think the eight has been. He's been trying to have. Uh, he's just been trying to get back up to where he once was. It's just been using up a lot of people. Well, I'm not for sure, but the caution has been out. So man, what even? I don't. I didn't, I don't think I caught that. But I'm pretty sure, uh, it wasn't too good.
right now, I, I think a lot of cars are gonna try and pit here because, man, this has been one heck of a battle. For a lot of these drivers, from second on to fifth, it was a whole bunch of cars under a blanket and just wow. Let's see, is who's gonna pit? Oh, the 41 not pitting the or Billy is and Sniper. So from fifth on back, I guess pit, try to pit. So you have to do that. There we'll get the wave around and the lucky dog. And we'll be going back into uh into the, who will who do you think will win this race? And I honestly don't know. But that 41 the ones watch, in my opinion, watch out for the 41. It's been mad fast this whole race. He's had a really, really strong run throughout the whole race. And he hasn't been getting into trouble. Nobody has really been able to touch him. So watch out for him. He'll be a one to watch. Also the eight. He'll be another one to watch out for. And hey, what I, I mean, the, the third place car and wow, that was close from the eight. Uh, but don't forget about third place of JJ Reds. He might steal this race. So it is basically 13 to go, I'm pretty sure. 13, 12. Pretty sure 13. commercial break because once again it's they have to go do another base lap well anyways we'll be uh, going ahead and we'll be sponsored by Rogue Energy Reds XI Esports is on drink Rogue Energy, or more like JJ's, but <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep that there. Uh, Rogue Energy, it's it's gonna be fueled by haters. Uh, the ultimate. Wait, what does that say? The ultimate. <laughs> I can't really read that part. But here's a. Uh, Juice going rule as everybody has gotten that and what in the world did I just see? But the ultimate fueling energy drink, rogue energy, which is fueled by haters like you. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be going back green. In a couple of turns, who will be the who will be the winner out of after this whole race? Will it be Will it be Power? Will it be SSR? Will it be JJ or Halo or Saddle? I mean, it's anybody's race so far. So as here we go, we're gonna go. That green flag racing. This green flag is back out in the air once again. It's, let's see. It. Will it be a... It's a dead even heat right here. Because now who will get the runoff? And it looks to me the 41 gets the punch off. It looks... 
But the 8 is coming right back. And he will clear him. As the 8 will clear him. And off track he goes dirt tracking it. And man, how about that? Oh, and the footy. Really losing. Here we go. Down to the asses. Man, this this is gonna be awesome. Eleven laps to go, I believe. And Halo, he's in third. So watch out for him. He, I mean, he hasn't been too fast this whole race, but if he can keep up with these two, then hey, maybe. Cause everybody's, yeah, I guess, just trying to third strike it around the, around the, the hairpin. Let's see if the 41 can get him. If not, this race might be over. It's been, oh, and the car is off the track. And it looks to be the uh, the 22, and he's just been in the way the whole race. And oh, down on the outside, man, those brakes are glowing really badly. So we're gonna go, oh, and wow, that is a huge hit for uh, the 22. I did not see that coming. I think that will be a caution. But I'm not for sure. That was a really, really strong hit right there. I don't think that, yeah, there's no caution for that. I, yeah, I think this race is gonna be over for the. Does Hill or uh, Howard? He can't get. He can't get. Yeah, he's been getting pulled away. Um, so a car. He's been really, really fast. Can't get really uh when you think about it. Now Philly, he's trying to go get underneath the sixteen of Halo. And he clear can he clear him and yes he and barely. That wasn't really a great, a great event right there. As Philly tries to use him up, and Philly saves it. Wow. Yeah, he cleared this up. I don't know how he how he got out of that, but he, he did it. He did a good job of doing it. That's for sure. Man, this these donuts been killing me. We haven't really been talking about Grimmer lately. He's been he's been back here chilling. He's had a whole eventful day of literally smacking the tire barriers 
on the pace lap, going, about to go green. That was that wasn't the only thing he was basically around at one point or another. And then right about here, he was dead sideways, really loose off the blind corner right there. And then he's, he's yet to get himself back into the top five. Right now, he's ha he has his sights on the sixth place driver. And I hope to see if he can get back into it, or find, see if he can hit the lead or the position, and wow, can he save it this time? And he does, but that'll cost him. This time he learns from his mistake from literally the pace lap. Now we'll go back all the way out to the lead because well fourth, uh, systems. And thank you guys for the five viewers. I did not think I would get this much viewers ever on a stream. Honestly. But this has been a real fun one so far. So good this this race has been. I don't even know how much uh, cautions there've been. I, I believe there were uh, as much as my fingers allow me, which is probably five throughout this whole race. So this has been uh, a really wild event i mean this is five laps to go and just a dominant day for power just so he can probably finish second most likely this has been a really fun way to see throughout this whole race as one car is stopped on the track and I believe that's the 22. Yep. Man, that is not... He has not been doing too good lately. I think he's just trying to do some drifts and stuff, but he's about to get a lap again, so I wouldn't be surprised if he will get into the way of the leaders. Yep, right there he goes. And overshoots it by a mile. And we'll have to... Yeah, I don't... Wow, once again, he's going to get into the way of the 41, and he was, oh, he was, jeez, yeah, he, he's getting into the way of a lot of drivers, and it's not, it's not in a, a good way. Hopefully, the 41 can catch the 8 car back up. Oh my god, and one car is up and over on his side. And if that isn't a caution, I don't know what is. Man, that was... Yeah, that is... That, that, that's definitely a caution. But man, what a way to just go up and over and somebody is... 
it looks to be the 22 or the 78 actually no the 22 my bad 22 was stopped somewhere for some reason but man the tw the 78 up and over on his side uh, can you believe it I know I can man that is a whole Taco Bell sign of you are literally prepping your pants everywhere if you aren't doing that I don't know how it I don't <laughs> I'm I'm just surprised that he's uh he's been uh able to keep it going. Cause it looks to be uh I guess uh pit road. I think it's gonna be open this time. I don't think it, I don't think it's all the rest. Oh, I think it was open that time. Yeah, it is open this time. Does Rimmer, he's in. And, yeah. Another person is in, and it looks to be the 95. He's he's been all, all around everywhere. You know, I'm not surprised about that, but not really at the same time. But he's been trying to keep it clean, keep it out of the leader's way. So I'm I'm pretty happy that he's been he's been doing a lot of a good stuff. A 55. He's been everywhere. The Pittsburgh Pro car is is a high CNC, but same thing, I guess. Not really, but it says what we've gained. Okay, I, I don't know what that is, but. I'm pretty sure they are uh, double filed up right here and is ready to go. Power on the inside, SSR on the outside. Who is going to be victorious here? Is it, I think, a green, white, checkered finish? Or overtime? I think it's an overtime finish right here. Let's see. Here we go. And it's a green flag is in the air. We're racing once again. And SSR gets away really good. And the 41, he is trying to get back into it. It's he clears Philly for third, and now it is all single file from there, and then two jump there, two people getting into it. Philly goes really wide there, and he will be going back to fourth. Now, can Power Ultra, can he gain back his first position? Or will it be a, a walk away win for the number eight, as he's been the fastest car all day, but not the dominant. As it's been SSR, now the 41 on the Power Ultra, and right on his bumper is JJ. And not anymore is... He gets passed by, uh... Okay, never mind. Wait. Alright, so that was... That was weird. It looked like, uh... Alright, so it was... Yeah, yeah, I was right. Oh, oh wow, and a three-wide situation? No, it... And Philly somehow gets away with it. Three wide. And here we go. Is it the white flag or the checkers? Oh, that was checkered. Or no? 
That's the white flag. The white flag is out in the air, presented by Greta One Bank. The next flag ends the race. I am pretty sure. It's now the eight. He is just trying to cruise away for this win. Here, and he's been the fastest car all day long. He has not been the most dominant car, but he's been pretty. to the S's for the final time and now going down to the hairpin and it's gonna be one great day for SSR as he will win at Sonoma as Philly gets second uh, power third and JJ fourth oh wait maybe oh wait wait a second so, no, it was, wait, I think it was Halo 2nd, or Halo 3rd, JJ 4th, and then, I'm not for sure, I couldn't really see who it was, I think Halo was 5th, I'm pretty sure, I'm not for, I'm not for sure, but, there is a lot of red, and, yeah, I think Halo was 5th, I believe. What a day for SSR as he wins in a in a wild fashion as he will burn it down. of the 41's dominant day ends in shambles finishing third and that that really hurts for him as he will come home third the dominant day and had had this race won until the last couple of ten the last ten laps the last dozen of laps the second to last caution I think basically killed him him and his chances to win but man what a fight he has put on and that was that was incredible well I am going to uh well now i will see you guys as everybody is crashing and dying <laughs> before everything before everybody does that thank you guys for watching as jesus christ again people that are dying well thank you for uh the five views uh this is assassin and this is the jrl fm7 uh league and I will uh I'll be glad to be joining you in the next commentary and I'll see you when it is next week or maybe uh the F1 race on Tuesday